Is this not the cutest little snake you've ever seen? Uh. Look how cute he is. Oh, hello little guy. He's so cute and harmless. You wouldn't even hurt a fly, huh? morning guys um, it's 7 a.m. I'm a hiking and I don't have a sp specific plan for the day um, I know that in 20 miles from my starting point it's uh, not quite three times the elevation so if I hike 20 miles I'll be up in the 6,000 feet from the 2500 that I'm at now so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it quite that far we'll see looks like there's plenty of water along the trail today though so that's good it is going to be warmer today than it was yesterday however if I'm up higher in the mountains that also won't matter quite as much as it'll be cooler but yeah, just another day of hiking. Though how you know that is close is beyond me. Give me a shiner right as the light. Like my toes when the fly started rushing While well, you spilled the blood, so drink it up and show how it goes And bark through all the biting gold Well now I know how it flows Cause in the dark So there's a fire closure in 16 miles. Now we are allowed to walk through it, but we are not allowed to get off the PCT trail, um, PCT trail, Pacific Crest Trail trail. Um, we're not allowed to get off the trail um, to camp or anything. And so, and the closure starts around 6,600 feet elevation. So I think that will be my goal, to hike up to the closure, but not go into it until tomorrow so that I can pass through it um, in camp tomorrow evening. Um, so yeah, that's my goal. 16 miles to go. So, so far on the trail, I've had to do um, trail routes that just kind of go straight up the mountain. I've had ones that um, are zigzags up the mountain, and then I've had these where they just kind of follow the curve of the mountain and just ever so easily go up the mountain, and they're definitely my favorite. The grade is super easy to get up. Of course, it takes longer to get up, but the trail's already 2,600 miles long, so... You know, I'm happy with these over the others because before you know it, you're up a few hundred feet higher and it's pretty easy to do. For the taking. And babe, your blood is worth all the waiting. Show how it goes and bark through all the biting gold. Well, now I know.
that was the mountain I, I was on a few days ago. This is the mountain I'll be on in a few days. Won't you let me in? I can't die without your permission. So just say the word. Won't you let me in? I can't die without your permission. So just say the word. I love finding rivers for a number of reasons. Um, one of the biggest reasons is because while I'm at the river, I can drink as much water as I want. So the last seven miles um, since the White Water River, I've been rationing my three liters. I only drank one liter of the three liters that I had with me from that river. Just because I'm, I'm think I'm overcautious. I want to make sure that this river is actually exists that I saw on the map, and now that I see that it does and that there's plenty of water here, I can now drink a liter to two liters of water, chilling right here for a little bit, fill back up, and then continue onward. So it's pretty great to find water. Won't you let me in? I can't die without your permission. So just say the word, the word. Trying to give my feet a little more rest time throughout the day so they're not as destroyed by the end of the day as well as my knee by taking off the brace and shoes. How it goes And bark through all the biting though Well now I know how it flows Cause in the dark you feel at home In the morning Just had an awesome little siesta. Got myself in a nice, maybe close to an hour nap. Now it's one o'clock, so nice and hot. But we cross this river so much that every time I'm just gonna dip my hat in, dip my little buff in, and it's gonna make it nice and cool all over again like it is right now. I'm kind of on that like post nap high right now. In a state cold fly, you've got to let them go. Slow, they're all slow, and they're mine for the taking. And babe, your blood is worth all the waiting. Sure, it goes. Oh, I'm tired. I know we're passing this river like 50 times, but it's still hot. And we're still going up thousands of feet in elevation. I think I need some sugar. Ooh, scary. Wait, isn't this where the Velociraptors are? It's an oasis. Today's been challenging in certain ways, but also kind of chill, chill mile-wise. Um, because of that fire closure, I can't hike more than like 16 miles today. Um, or maybe close to 17, but that's only if I go directly up to the actual closure. Um, so I'll probably only end up hiking 15 to 16 miles today, which is nice. It has been challenging in that it's hot. Um, and got quite a bit of uphill. Let's see, where's the trail? 
right here. Quite a bit of uphill. Um, the last bit of the trail here only got 2.5 miles or so. Maybe less, maybe a little more. But about a thousand feet of elevation gain. So, so yeah. Let's do this thing. Little yeah. end of the day. I can't die without your permission. So just say the word. Won't you let me in? I can't die without you. Made it to camp today after 17 miles hiking I believe and uh, it's uh, 7.30 so basically my bedtime yep That's it. See you guys tomorrow. In the morning, I'll be sparking gold.